Hey Stacy, this is Julian Keller. Uh, just getting you the video as I told you I would. This is the 2020 Outback Premium, uh, loaded with that additional option package that gives you blind spot detection, rear cross traffic alerts, uh, the very nice moonroof on this, push button start, and a power rear gate. Um, so as I, I remember telling you, you can open this power rear gate about four different ways. Okay. Open sesame, and it opens up and you got this nice spacious cargo area. Uh, it even comes with a cargo cover too if you want. Uh, you can pull this and set it in place. And then if you have any like cool groceries in the back, those are then protected from the sun and they stay cool longer. Um, also, if you have anything valuable in the back, uh, it'll keep it hidden from any curious eyes that decide to peek into your back window. Um, this one also comes with all weather floor mats and regular mats. So you got options, summertime, wintertime for the all weather mats. And you have these levers right here, which are gonna help you uh, pull the, or let the seats fall down a little bit easier. So that's how that works. And this is another way that you can shut the gate right there. Take a look at the back seat. You got lots of room in this Outback since you know they are pretty uh, long vehicles. You got plenty of leg room back here for anyone that's tall. I love the material on these too. I love these cloth seats. I like the design. Feels nice. Um, you got a couple USB ports back there if anyone needs them. The air conditioning is working great in this on a hot day. It feels great in here. Um, yeah, we'll go over the we'll go over the infotainment system a little bit. This one has maps, like I said. Um, you can also use the maps from your phone, um, but you can set your home destination in here and make that really easy to just take you back home from wherever you're at. Um, the radio, we've got AM, FM, XM, right? All of these options, really easy to navigate. Um, you can also save uh, any of your presets in here. It doesn't matter if it's FM, AM, or XM. Like for instance, I'm on XM, I can save an XM preset with the FM, so you can just kind of go uh, wherever you want really easily that way. And then the media, if you want to play anything uh, through the aux port in the car, or Bluetooth off your phone, you have that option. Um, you can also hook your phone up Bluetooth to the car to accept, uh, you know, accept incoming calls, uh, make outgoing calls, hang up calls, uh, view text messages, things like that. And you can also put your phone book on the vehicle as well and have all your friends saved in here. Um, then the apps on here, we have Travelink. Okay, and Travelink's pretty cool. You can check the gas prices nearby, find the best deal on gas. It's like they're most, mostly about 210, but uh, High V and Casey's here sitting at $2, so you can save some money that way. Um, you also have weather on here that you can check, which is helpful for a lot of people. We got current weather, and then you got uh, for over the next few hours, five day report. And then another thing in the apps is that Apple CarPlay I was telling you about. So you can plug your phone into these USB ports down here. And then uh, the apps from your phone will get uploaded on the car, like podcasts, audiobooks, Spotify, uh, additional maps from your phone, things like that. Um, so that's a pretty sweet feature. A lot of people like that. And then car info is going to have like health check reports. You got the yaw and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and so you can schedule like maintenance and stuff in here too. Check the status of your vehicle. Um, in the settings too, this is where you get to have a uh, really customize the vehicle. You got tons of settings to play with, safety settings and the car settings. Um, and then sound settings you can adjust, the general settings too, you got a lot in there as well. Okay, so a lot of stuff. That's one of the perks of these of these larger screens is you have a lot more to play with. Um, you can adjust the temperature in here a lot of different ways too. So you got these buttons on the side you can use, right, and the little arrows down there, or you can just hit that and you can use the scrolly bar, right, and adjust it that way. You can hit the arrows here, the buttons, whatever works for you. And then you got three different settings for the heated seats that you can play with. And then you can adjust the mode this way. You got more options there. So really a lot of uh, room for customization. That's why I like these big screens. And then you also have like an additional like wireless uh, phone charging port for any phones that can accept wireless charging. All you gotta do is just slide it down right in there and it charges the phone for you. It's a pretty sweet additional feature. And then I know you remember the lane centering and that stuff, on off, set, select your distance, then turn that on. You can do that in a matter of three seconds and then uh, the car's doing a lot of the work for you after that. Just set it and forget it. You can sift through the display up here to get additional information if you want. Um, yeah, hopefully this video was helpful for you, Stacy. Looking forward to seeing you on Saturday. Um, 
If there's anything else I can provide you with, let me know. Here's one last glimpse of the front. Um, these are truly comfortable seats. I mean, they're adjustable several different ways. You got, uh, you got up, down, back, forward. You can tilt the back end too. And then you also have this lumbar support right here, which is really nice. And that's gonna make this uh, lower part of the seat either uh, compress in or expand outwards and give you that lower part of your uh, spine, that vulnerable area, more support. So, all right, Stacey, well, I enjoyed making this video for you. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And like I said, uh, we'll see you Saturday. Thanks, Stacey, bye.